Hey, welcome. So in this video, we're going to go into an escape room in a spreadsheet. We're going to try to win $2,000. If you want to try this escape room yourself, uh, spoiler alert, we're going to do the escape room in this video. So go to the site. You can see at the top coefficient.io slash spreadsheet hyphen escape hyphen room. It's also on Product Hunt today. So go and upvote it if you enjoy it or just go upvote it first. How about that? How about support? Give some support to Google Sheets on Product Hunt. Whatever. Uh, go go give it a, a, a upvote. Let me know you did it. I'm just asking straight up for support, you know? Not asking for the upvote. Just asking for support. Well, here, let's do a uh, spreadsheet escape room. I'm going to put in my uh, email address. If you're watching this and you're not a Better Sheets member, then do not look at my email address. Or go ahead and email me. Uh, okay, so we get a copy ID. We got to put in our name, Andrew. Uh, we got to copy this. Let's do that. Okay, so step one, enter my name. Step two, copy agent ID before entering the escape room. So what's going to happen? Well, we don't know. Let's see. We're going to enter the escape room now. Step four, we got to make a copy. All right, let's enter. All right, make a copy. Do, 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 do. Okay, we are inside the escape room. So Leland DeVries, ex-CFO. Here's a story uh, of Vanitas... Vignettes uh, Capital is embezzled over $3 billion. More billionaires. Ugh. As a top forensics accountant for the FBI's... Oh, is that me or you? Is that you? Uh, FBI's Financial Crimes Unit. You must unwind the disgraced financier's trail of deceit. Sure. But as you come through the CFO's spreadsheets, you uncover ooh, a plot far more sinister. Soon you're trapped... <laughs> In a criminal mastermind's elaborate game. Ooh, so Leland did this. With seemingly no way out. The spreadsheet escape room is not for the faint of heart. Ooh. If you end up lost, you'll need to use clues from world-renowned spreadsheet influencers. I wonder who. Uh, to find your way out. Now enter if you dare. All right, let's see. So we got to enter the agent ID. We got that already on our... Ooh. It's Leland's briefcase. When you find objects like this, click the cell immediately below the object to use it. Okay. We can click on it. Nothing's happening. But, oh, we can click it on and off. So this is true-false. This must be a checkbox. All right. Should I be breaking this down as I do this? Maybe. That's cool little effect. Doesn't look like there are... Um, is there a... Uh, what is... How is this working okay that's a true false this is definitely some kind of checkbox let's see we can yeah you know why this is a check this is funny this is what i like to do it is a checkbox but it is a huge it, it's expanded beyond the size of the uh um cell and the text colors i bet are in yeah, they're imperceptibly different. They are different colors, but you can't tell. So I'm going to undo that and see. So this is a... That's cool. And it's all of them. All, oh, all of these. So as if you click under here, you're selecting that. That's pretty cool. Um, I love that. I love doing that. I have some Better Sheets videos that, where I show you that. I have a video if you want to check it out on six things you can do with checkboxes. I think I include that in there. Okay, so... Let's let's keep going in this in this escape room. I'm gonna uh, probably go on a lot of a lot of side uh, routes here. All right, it's Leland's briefcase. When you find objects like this, click the cell immediately to be below. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a magnifying glass, a a water gun, banana, flashlight, a hammer, and a battery. Are these emojis? These are probably emojis. So looking at like where to put them. And, oh, that is cool. So you combine things like the water and the hammer. You don't think we can't combine those. So we combine the light, the flashlight and the uh, battery. Okay, let's keep going. So in this flashlight area, we got a pineapple. 
Do we care about the pineapple? Probably. But it looks like there is a sheet here. Is there a context map? Nothing to see here yet. We have some help. We need some help. We'll get it. Um, here's a, s a scroll. So we click below to... Oh, no. We don't click in this. This way we'll... Okay, so it's a scroll. Leland was a collector of rare documents. Use the plus button on the left. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I gotta do something here. Had to change the size of my screen so I could click this. Okay, if you're reading this note, you've managed to break into my deepest, darkest spreadsheets. You must be a clever one, but you don't. But don't get your high hopes high. Don't get your high hopes high. Uh, this was just the easy part. Yes, you see, I am the master of spreadsheets, and there's no way you'll be able to keep up so far. You've just played around with my toolbox. Ooh, you played my toolbox, but you need to, you'll need you need to know a few formulas if you're going to go any further. I think I know formulas. Make this formula true to proceed. What? Don't dare edit the formula itself. Wait, see? See my formula in the cell below this one. You must adjust the checkboxes to make the if formula true. Is this... What's the formula? Oh, here's the formula. If... L806, L806 uh, Q, what is that? Q, uh, how do they do this? Oh, this is cool. So make this formula true to proceed. So if it's false, so right now it's false. And so this text shows up. And so you can look at the formula and see if and Q8, L806 Q, what? Q808. Oh, wow. Okay, so we, we did it. That's it. And now use a formula in the red cell to find the count of the true boxes. I mean, better sheet members. You, better sheet followers, subscribers, you, yo's on YouTube. You know what this is. You got to know. Count. Wait, so uh, use a formula equals count if range J805. Uh... S808, criterion true, right? Boom, we got it. All right, where will this link go? Wait, what link? Is there a link here? Here we go, context map. Whoa, cool. So I guess we're three, three sevenths of the way there. Oh, this looks like it's in a different language. Uh, Leland could have laundered the money anywhere. He was a jet setter with financial holdings all over the world, but he left behind an import of Salesforce context below. If you filter by the correct language and on the most recent year, you may find something. Detect language. Leland spoke a number of languages. Is there a way to detect the language in cell A7? Is it probably a, a formula? De oh, there it is. Detect language. <laughs> um... A7, let's see. Uh, FIL, so is this like Filipino? Maybe? Calculate the create date. I gotta move my face again. C calculate the create date year for each row in column G below. Column G's over here. In column G. Calculate the create date. Oh, here. So we got some red. Oh, this is column G. Create date. Probably created date. What else is here? Language. Year. Is that just year? This? Let's autofill this, baby. All oh, green. We did it. That was quick. Oh, there was a lot. Okay, we've... We got all of that. that. Oh my god, 7,000. We can move command and up to move to the top. There we go. Is that all we had to do? What now? Oh, you know what? Because we autofilled it, I bet... Do we have to, like, hit enter at the end? No. Am I stuck? <laughs> is, this, is this me being stuck? Oh my god. What to do next? 
Uh, we learn about coefficient. This is all a coefficient thing. Uh, filter on the in filter. Oh, filter language. Ah, so probably clear that filter f fill because that's the language we had. And wait, what? And current year. Oh, cur oh my God, that's what I. So filter the current year. So clear all of this. Put in 2022. Okay. Oh, cool. So this map becomes an arrow. Ooh. What is the country? What country is the map pointing to? Oh, the arrow here to the right. Uh, not Algeria. Morocco. Whoa, we're an escape artist, not just a number cruncher. Of course, we're, we're Google Sheet Gurus, right? Click the cell, this cell, and follow the link. Might be hidden just below your formula bar. There we go. We've escaped. Completion. Yes. Ah, did it in nine minutes. Wow. <laughs> okay, we did it. Copy to clipboard. Let's share this, right? Ooh, Lauren, did it in 47 seconds? Oh, come on. I don't think. I don't think that's real. You can't do that in 47 seconds. Come on. All right. So if you enjoyed this, go to uh, productcount.com. Check out Google Sheets Escape Room. If you are looking, actually, if you're looking for another escape room, uh, you can go to Escape Spreadsheet Hell. Just like Google that, really. Uh, there's another Better Sheets video all about a... a escape room that I created in Google Sheets, and it teaches you three keyboard shortcuts. So check out this video. It's also a nine minute video. This video is gonna be like over nine minutes. Um, but check out that Escape Spreadsheet Hell. It'll teach you three keyboard shortcuts. If you're on a Mac, this is only for Mac users, I should have said, probably. Go check it out. Um, it's, a fun, it's a fun video about this, the, the escape room, but go and do the escape room. Go get it, it's in the, it's in the uh, description here. Play the game, go play it. Learn three keyboard shortcuts. Uh, thanks for watching, enjoy more Better Sheets videos.